While the Hero 11 had the best GPS in a GoPro camera, the 12 had no GPS at all. What do we get with the Hero 13 Black? Yes. The 13 comes with the same great GPS chip from the 11. But how do they compare in the real world? Both cameras take roughly the same time to find the GPS signal. Under optimal conditions, the results are equally good. As shown here with the white and blue lines, the GPS tracks are within meters or centimeters of each other. They are also very close to the actual position in the video most of the time. As expected, when the conditions are slightly worse, like under dense trees or in narrow streets, the accuracy of the GPS signal decreases. But the data is still generally good and usable in most use cases. Even when the coordinates are not perfect, the speed data tends to be good. Here we are comparing the speed recorded by the GoPro with the speedometer in the car. Results seem very consistent and reliable, again under optimal conditions. We'll move on to altitude or elevation data, which is typically the less accurate component of GPS trackers. Here we compare the altitude recorded by the GoPro with the road elevation from Google Maps. As you can see, the results are pretty good, only within meters of the real value. We can also compare the altitude data with a barometer-based altimeter, which tends to provide very accurate results, and it's used in advanced activity trackers. Again, the overall result is usually good, both in the absolute altitude value above sea level and the relative altitude gain of the activity. But as you can see, the GoPro data is not as stable, it hesitates a bit, due to the nature of altitude GPS data. However, if the GPS signal conditions are only slightly worse than perfect, the altitude values can drift quite a bit. So in critical situations, it is recommended to have a dedicated activity tracker to complement the GPS data from the GoPro in your videos with metrics. To maximize the chances of good GPS data in GoPro videos, always wait for the GPS confirmation icon before you start recording. The icon used to be bright white in previous models, it is now blue. Always film outdoors, GPS data doesn't work indoors. Avoid obstacles near or especially on top of the camera, like mounts, a car roof, your body, and so on. Do not mount the camera upside down, and if the GPS data is important for you, record a backup GPS track with a phone, a smartwatch, or an activity tracker. Know that the format of the GPS data has changed recently, so old software options may not be compatible with the Hero 13 Black. Both telemetry overlay and telemetry extractor are compatible out of the box. Overlay is the right choice for users that want to create videos with visual metrics, be it only with the GoPro data, GPS, accelerometer, gyroscope and so on, or with additional metrics from trackers for motorsports, cycling, aviation, sailing and many more activities. Telemetry Extractor, on the other hand, takes the data embedded in videos and converts it to other formats like GPX, CSV, KML, JSON, to use in an unlimited range of third-party software options, like Excel, GIS, Google Earth, After Effects and so on. Make sure to check out the other tutorials to learn the workflow that works best for you. I hope this was useful. See you in the next one.